Dave, uh, thank you for the uh, kind introduction and also for personally being here for uh, this forum. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone. Um, we are very pleased to have so many of our alum, uh, current students, uh, as well as uh, current faculty, friends of the school, and also colleagues from the industry to be here today. As we all know, uh, the financial uh, crisis in 2008 and 2009 uh, has greatly changed the financial landscape that uh, we were familiar with. Uh, also, it's changed our understanding of it. <clears throat> what were the problems causing the crisis? Are there solutions that will prevent the crisis from happening? What kind of trade-offs actually do we face when we look at these solutions? Uh, these are questions urgently needing solutions. And uh, it will probably take researchers, uh, practitioners, and uh, policymakers uh, years of hard work to sort it out. As they mentioned, uh, MIT is one of the birthplaces of modern finance, continuing this history and uh, tradition. Sloan's finance faculty always stays at the forefront of the new advances in the financial research. We very much would like to provide timely ideas, analysis, methodology, and frameworks to the most important questions to finance today. As part of that effort, we held the first MIT Sloan Finance Forum in New York last year. Started an open discussion on many of the challenging questions post-crisis engaging our alumni and the friends in the industry uh, in this discussion. It was a huge success uh, given the global nature of finance and also the Sloan's uh, network of friends um, <clears throat> in the industry. We have decided to hold uh, two more forums this year, one in June in London and of course one today in Shanghai. We hope that these forums will give you a chance to remain connected to Sloan by learning about our new initiatives related to finance, to hear from some of our faculty about their most recent research at the forefront of the advances on these issues, as well as to participate in a rigorous discussion on these issues. Today we have a full day of program, including presentations, panel discussions, as well as a lunch and a reception uh, at the end of the day. The title of the forum today is Finance for the Future. Uh, I guess it has two meanings, really. First, it will focus on new frameworks and techno techniques, methods, concepts, which may help to shape the future of finance. For this, we will hear from our faculty members, Steve Ross, Debbie Lucas, June Pan, and Bob Merton. Second, I guess it's fairly clear to all of us now that the main engine for future growth of global economy resides with emerging economies. And uh, <clears throat> how modern finance, both its theory and uh, practice, can help to facilitate these growth is also a big part for the future of finance. For this, we will have two panels with leaders in this area who will discuss the role of finance and financial institutions in driving the growth in emerging economies, such as China. Before we move on to our program, and uh, let me just say a few words about the logistics. Um, <clears throat> first, uh, the, uh, we, this is a, a forum with uh, uh, two languages. Uh, we will have simultaneous translation. Um, and uh, at, in front of you, you will have headsets. Uh, channel one is English and channel two is uh, Chinese. So you can uh, choose whichever one that suits you. Uh, I guess most of the participants are likely to speak English uh, with the exception of uh, the mayor who would be joining us uh, in this afternoon. Uh, also, after each uh, presentation and uh, panel discussion, we will have around 10 minutes or so for Q&A. Uh, there will be two staff members uh, with uh, <coughs> the microphone 
uh, moving around. So uh, if you have a question or comment, please raise your hand so that you can have access to a microphone. Um, the, uh, the last thing is that, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, before we start, I uh, would to uh, politely ask you to turn your cell phone into the silent mode. Um, so without further delay, um, <clears throat> I would like to move on to our first presentation by uh, Steve Ross. Um, Steve actually, uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, wasn't able to be here physically because of a glitch in uh, the visa application process, but he managed to get into the same time zone. So he'll be joining us through the video uh, <clears throat> facility uh, from Singapore. Uh, Steve is the uh, Franco Modigliani Professor of Financial Economics and Professor of Finance at MIT Sloan School of Management. Steve was previously the Sterling Professor of Economics and Finance at uh, Yale University, and before that, Professor of Economics and Finance at the Wharton School of University of Pennsylvania. Steve is also the Chairman of Compensation Evaluation, <coughs> uh, as well as the Principal and Chief Investment Officer of Ross Institutional Investors. Steve is the author of more than 100 articles in economics and finance, and is the co-author of a leading introductory textbook in finance. He's probably best known for having invented the arbitraging, the arbitrage pricing theory and the theory of agency <coughs> for corporate finance. And as the co-discoverer of risk-neutral pricing, and the binomial model for pricing derivatives. Models developed by Steve and his co-workers, including the term structure models, the models for option pricing, are now standard for pricing in major security trading firms. Steve's contributions to the field has received wide recognition, including the Graham and Dodd Award for financial writing, the Prominence Prize for Excellence in the Area of Option Research, the University of Chicago's Leo Malamud Prize for the Best Research by a Business School Professor, and the 1996 IFA, IAFE Financial Engineer of the Year. In 2006, he was the first recipient of the CME MSRI Prize in Innovative Quantitative Application, and in 2007, he won the Jean Jacquier Lafon Prize given by the Toulouse School of Economics. Steve is a fellow of the Econometric Society, a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and the past president of the American Finance Association. <clears throat> I guess I could go on, but let me stop here in that dimension. But I should also uh, add that in addition to being a, pro uh, a pioneer in modern finance, Steve is also an accomplished practitioner of it. Uh, he has been, um, he is co-founded and was the co-chair of the Rowan Ross Asset Management and Equity Money Manager, chairman of the American Express Advisory Panel, and uh, a former director of General Re, CREF, and Freddie Mac. He has also served as an advisor to government departments such as the U.S. Treasury, the Commerce Department, the IS, and the Axiom Bank. He's currently chairman of the Investment Advisory Board of the IVC International, a director of the IVC, and a trustee of the California Institute of Technology, where he chairs the investment committee. Steve holds a BS, a Bachelor of Science degree in Physics from Caltech, and a PhD in Economics from Harvard University. Uh, Steve's talk today will focus on the fundamental role the financial markets serve as information uh, <clears throat> aggregation uh, channel, especially how asset prices reflect the market's forecast of the future. Uh, without further delay, let me turn, I guess, the podium to Steve. <clears throat> 